This is week three of Denver Sex Improv Star Season 11. Mm. The competition starts out with 15 talented improvisers every week. Someone wins, someone goes home, and we're gonna narrow it down to the Denver's next improv star. Another tongue twister for you. Another one. This week's theme was stage! What does that mean? Where are you? Where is your environment? What are you doing? So, Dinner Sex Improv Star is hosted by Denise Mays. It is judged by Eric Perone, Lucky Johnson, and a special mystery guest judge. Reed, tell us about our guest judge from this week. This week, on week three, our guest judge was Emily Ray. Bovine student, bovine grad, current bovine instructor? What? Yeah. Let's jump in to act one. The exercise that the actors found that they were doing moments before going on stage was they were in a location where they could be doing multiple activities, but they could not talk about what they were doing or where they were. They had to show this with their object work yep. and relationships and interacting with the environment that they were in. Well, what did we get out of this as students watching this? Number one, don't lose your object work. No. no, you can't lose your object work because it's you become two talking heads on the stage and then it becomes way less interesting. So keep your object work. Keep your object work and keep it natural. Think about how you actually do these things in real life. That's how you should be using object work on stage. Yes. And our most important takeaway from this exercise was don't talk about what you're doing. Why? Because it's boring! Who do we think brought success to this exercise? Several people. Several people. Uh, most specifically, I think Andrew did a fantastic job with moving the scene forward. Ever since the kids left, you've just been kind of throwing yourself into it, and it's just... You're worried. We also appreciated Joe's and his character that he brought. Yeah. And he was showing and not telling. Yeah. Which was the whole point of the exercise. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You have to be mindful of your environment, John. You have to be mindful of my environment. You tell me that every single day. Yeah. And here you are making a poor example of how to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic job really getting really showing us about the environment. <laughs> I, I want to take it to the next level. Are you listening? Yes. Let's take it to the next level. <laughs> Just a second, Jesus! <laughs> and the winner of the Santa Number 3 Immunity Challenge on week three was Wade! Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Act two tonight was scene painting. The actors have to come out and tell you what is on stage, where it is, some little details about that thing, and then start a scene based off of that. What did we get out of this act after watching it? The number one thing was be concise, but add as much detail as you can. Yeah, this one is such a fine, fine balance because you need to add something that's interesting and with just a little bit of detail, but it's so easy to go overboard. So we had really, really fantastic detail ads from Joe's. I really, really liked. There is a bar right here in the front. Underneath that bar are hooks for handbags. 20. <laughs> We also appreciated Sarah and her characters that she brought on stage. Yes. And also how her characters interacted with the environment and her amazing object work. Hey, this isn't a competition. This is a street. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen up. This is just not right. I'm feeling very threatened by you and your beard. <laughs> I haven't changed at all, Janine. <laughs> no, I just, I'm here for you. I like how 
she, her, Sarah, and Andrew moved scenes forward tonight. Unfortunately, the judges decided to send Zach home this evening, but the good news is, is that we will see him back for comebacks on March 14th. The first four eliminated actors will come back and fight for their chance to come back and be Denver's next improv star. Now, the information you have been dying to find out this entire time. Who won week three? Week three, your winner was Sarah! Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Sarah went home with a $50 gift card to Chiba Hut. So, what's next? Week four. Next Saturday, the Bovine Metropolis Theater, 16th and Chamba, 7.30 p.m. We will be here. So why don't you come support as well? Tickets can be bought online at thebovinemetropolistheater.com.